Hi, and I'm going to now show you um, a quick overview of how uh, you can use Camera Path and Playmaker together. So I'm just going to create a new Camera Path. Here we have a new Camera Path. I'm also going to create a Playmaker object. Let's open Playmaker Editor. Don't want that. Right click to add FSM. So we've got our basic Playmaker thing. Now, there's basically two um, ways you can, as, uh, that you're going to want to communicate with Camera Path uh, with. Um, but you want to go into the Action Browser. And in the Action Browser, we have down here Script Control. And script control, you can actually connect to many things, um, but uh, we're going to use um, invoke method. We'll add that in. Um, here we have the invoke method. Here you can specify uh, everything you're going to need to know. Uh, the game object, you're going to want to specify the game object. Um, so this allows us to target something other than the game object we have selected with Playmaker. Uh, to do is um, select the camera path uh, game object and we're going to want to target the camera path animator. You can, can ta target the camera path um, but it's unlikely you're going to want to do anything with that at runtime. Um, the animator controls all the animation stuff um, so if you want to start or stop uh, or seek to a specific point that's going to be something that the animator controls. And here we have all of our um, methods. Um, a lot of them you're going to want to basically ignore, um, but you, you can access things like uh, what the percentage is or whether camera path is playing. But the main ones are things like play. We can just call that a specific delay, um, or you can pause it, um, or you can seek. But the problem with seek um, is you're going to want to specify a percentage, and that's not something we can uh, do here. So what we're going to do is actually move this action. We're going to add a different kind of action, uh, send message. And send message is very similar, uh, but we will be able to tell seek at what um, value we want to seek to. So we can specify a game object, and that wants to be camera path. We want to send message. We don't require a receiver. And it does grab us all of the um, methods. We're going to use seek. And we would seek that requires a float. And here we're going to seek to halfway through the scene. So that's the general overview of how you can communicate between Playmaker and Camera Path.